Welcome to learning React with me. In the last few videos, we have been progressing really well on routing in React using React Router DOM version 5. We learned how to add routing functionality, how to define routes to our components, how to use switch, redirect, link, and also the route parameters. It's time to learn yet another concept of routing, which is programmatic navigation. Before jumping into the implementation, let's take a look at the application we created earlier. We have a simple application where we click on Home to see the list of users. And when we click on each user, we move to a user detail component and display the ID from the route parameter. Ideally, you would be calling an API to fetch the user details based on the ID in the route. Just for the sake of simplicity, we did not add any API calls here. However, it's not always about links and uh, buttons. Sometimes you might have to make a decision before navigation. And based on few checks, we decide which route to choose. For example, you might have a login page where you will be taken to home page on successful login or to an error page if the credentials are invalid. So a single login button is deciding which component to land based on the validation. Similarly, we can perform few checks here. A basic one, assume that we have an option to add new user, but we are allowed to add only up to three users. Ideally, once we have three users, we would be disabling this option to add new user but for the sake of demonstration, let's display this option and check the maximum users created before creating the new user. If there are already enough users, then we should navigate to error page. Otherwise, we should display success message. Let's see how we can implement this. I have added this button in the home component, which on click will call on add new method. I have a constant which will give us the maximum users allowed to be created. If the users are already reaching the maximum capacity, we navigate to the error path. Otherwise, we will have some logic to add new user and navigate to the success path. I have already added the success and error components which would simply display the respective messages. Now let's see how we can navigate to these components. And the first step to do so is to define these routes. So let me define two routes. Success and error 400 maybe because it's a bad request to add uh, another user when it is exceeding the uh, maximum capacity. And let me import success component as well. Let's save it and go back to the home component. So this is the if block, which is our error path and the else block is our success path. To navigate, React has provided an object in the props called history. Let me just console log this to see how the history object is. This dot props and let me save it. So when I, uh, let me open the developer tools. When I click on uh, add new user, I see an object which has a history object. So in this history, we have different methods and one of them is push. This is the uh, method provided by history to allow us to add a new route to the history stack. So let us just go back to the component and I can say this dot props dot history dot push and the route that we need to push here is error 400 slash error 400 and let me copy paste the same thing here but this has to go to success so uh, our maximum users that are allowed to be created is 3 and our users array already has three users so ideally this if clause should be uh, true and we should navigate to error 400 
so let's see this okay so now when i click on add new test user it went to error 400 because the condition is satisfied and now we can see this message you can add a maximum of three users now let me change this to four save it and uh, since we already have three users but the maximum capacity is four we are still allowed to add the new user and when i click on add new user we assume that there is uh, some functionality to add the new user and we see the user added successfully message so we have successfully entered our uh, success bar so this is how we uh, navigate to different uh, routes based on the validation or any conditions that you have in your application using props.history object so okay this is good with class component uh, but how about a functional component yes even in functional component you have props object you have history object and you can push it the similar way only difference is you don't have to use the this keyword if you are comfortable with react hooks there is a hook provided by react router dom called use history so uh, let me just create a small functional component here called the button where we have props passed to it and this would simply return a button here so i will uh, copy this button and just say uh, return this button and we don't need to have this uh, uh, this keyword here and let me create a method called on add and inside this also let me make use of this uh, hook so i will create a variable called history which says use history and inside this add new method you can say history dot push slash error 400 uh, i'm not uh, using any checks here so let me let me just uh, use this button here instead of the actual button so yeah so now if i go back to this page and home component and click on the history you will see this navigated to uh, error component because that is what we have given here and let me also show how this history object looks like and now let me go back to route click on add new and do you see this history object here it is exactly similar to the one provided by props just that we are making use of a uh, use history hook instead of props.history so this is all about uh, navigating programmatically i hope the concept is clear keep watching for more videos and please subscribe to interview too thank you